Hey, what is going on everybody? It's Dakota Hoyle, welcome back. I know it's been a month or two since the last hydroponics update. Um, things have been crazy in the house, but I did want to take a quick second on showing you guys a brief tutorial on the nutrients that I use to make the plants grow. Um, just a quick update with the plants. Cucumbers didn't fare too well. We've been having a heat wave, but the eggplant is taking off. We have peppers galore. Tomatoes are going crazy too. Um, I'll show you guys a couple of clips of that in the video towards the end. But anyways, without further ado though, the solution that I use is a three-part mixture called Master Blend. The first step is a 4, 18, and 38th, or sorry, 4, 18, and 38 tomato uh, blend for flowering. The next step is Epsom salt. Honestly, if you buy it with a kit, I think it's kind of uh, more expensive. Like, I mean, Epsom salt, you can go to like Walmart and get like 10 pounds of it for a couple of dollars. And then finally you have your calcium nitrate. You do have to go in order though. First step, second step, third step. Um, for me today, I mix in a one gallon jug of water. My reservoir is 19 gallons, so the numbers I'm gonna be throwing out are exact for my reservoir, for example. Other things you're gonna need is a scale, electronic scale that can do grams, a cupcake wrapper, and then a spoon. So without further ado, let's get started. Power on. The scale that I bought was from Walmart, it comes in grams. I put my little cupcake wrapper right there on there. Help make things nice and easy. And then your first master blend is gonna be 45 grams. Come pour out there, 45. I will be posting a link in the description to Amazon, the master blend um, three part Mixture is actually on sale. Well, it's back on the Amazon market, so you're able to buy it. But there we go. 45, 44 grams, close enough, right? So you carefully take this, dump it into your solution or your water. You wanna make sure you mix it really well before you move on to the next step. And you do need to make sure that you go in order. Good, nice mixture. If not, you can like mess up everything in nutrient lock. Um, you can use more than one gallon of water to do this. I highly recommend that you use at least a minimum of a gallon of water. The less water you use, um, it turns kind of into like a thicker, sludgier solution and it's just more of a pain. Next, your Epsom salt is 22 grams. So again, like I said, Epsom salt you can honestly get at Walmart for dirt cheap. Okay, there we go, 22 grams. Dump that in. Mix it up really, really well here. And always this stuff that I'm using is only meant for my plants. I don't use the um, lemonade jug thing for anything other than this. I don't wanna risk somebody getting sick. And then finally your calcium nitrate, 45 grams again. A little bit shy, but that's fine. Um, with this, like in where I live in Southwest Florida, my plants are very large at this point. They go through a ton of water. I only run the water pump roughly from about an hour or so before sunrise to roughly an hour after sunset because it's so hot. And then after that, I let the plants rest overnight. Um, but my reservoir, I'm filling up roughly at this point, almost 
every five to six days, seven days, because of between evaporation and just the plants sucking all this stuff up. But yeah, I am done. It's thoroughly mixed all the way through, so I have a good mixture. I'm gonna go dump this in my reservoir. Um, after this part, I'm just gonna show you guys what my plants look at this point. So enjoy, hopefully this quick little video helps out. See you in the next one. It is getting super dark out right now, but as you guys can see, I got tons of flowers all over my Egyptian, or sorry, my uh, Ichiban eggplant. Um, you got in the back there, my tomato plant, it was crawling up the side of the house. I got a little eggplant coming in there. Got a nice, decent guy right here. Um, as you can tell, I sort of got a mess going on right here because my cucumber plant did not like the heat and it ended up dying. Tomato plant is still doing well. I actually, this is my latest tomato fruit. He's coming in pretty good right there. Um, I'm also having some issues with caterpillars. I got some bell peppers coming in. Jalapenos all over the place. I mean, as you guys can see, we use a lot of peppers at my house. So that's my main goal. I got some weird Mad Hatter peppers all over the place, flowers everywhere. I'm gonna have to uh, probably tomorrow rip out my cucumber plant that just went all crazy and separate it. Um, this thing is kind of a mess. But yeah, I mean, it's doing quite well. This guy really at the end here hasn't, I mean, he's flowering a little bit as you can see, but it's mostly he's just taking off and growing. Um, hopefully here in the next week or so, I'm going to start to see a lot of stuff go on there. But yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. I grew the eggplant. Let me zoom out a little bit. I grew the eggplant traditionally once before in the ground, um, but it was nothing like this. I mean, these flowers are all taken off. So we're going to have plenty of eggplant. Alyssa loves when I make eggplant in the air fryer. But yeah, this is our setup. My backyard is a mess right now, but yeah.